driving uh, on my way to work today. It's kind of snowing a little bit. And then uh, just a bunch of ducks sitting in the middle of the road. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's uh, something that I appreciate about up here. Just all of the wildlife. I'll probably have to dodge some wild horses on the way in. For real. No, not even kidding. That's the Paul Lake sign right there. Must be winter. So I'm trying to get better at telling stories throughout my videos. Up till now, I feel like it's always kind of disjointed. So I'm experimenting with my ride to work today and see if I can actually put together some sort of story about my ride. <laughs> I got nervous because a car was going by. I didn't want to look like a goof. But yeah, if I can make a story just on my ride to work compelling, then I'm doing something right. So that's just going to be the, the goal. So this is ride to work phase one. Phase one, number one. Every day I pass that flag. It's one of my bucket list uh, photos. I want to get it when it's when it's fully erect, for lack of a better word, in the wind. I think it would be a beautiful photo. Imagine with the snow right now. Oh, if it was windy, that would be it. Here's another bucket list uh, photo of mine. Kamloops is, is that way. But this right here, ever since I can remember, this farm has just been like the pinnacle of success to me. I've been trying to capture it on a photo. So there's the kind of hay barn back there. This is my subject usually is these Heritage houses, not heritage, I don't know what you call them, these old like uh, frontier houses, is that what you call them? On this pond, so it doesn't look great right now, it actually looks better when it's actually water. No word of a lie, I've stopped here probably 10 times since we moved up here in uh, the end of October, trying to get a photo of this, and it just, it doesn't turn out ever, it's not ever as good as, uh, as it is in real life, you know. I've even flown my drone over top of this. One day, one day, you can't see it right now, but Harper Mountain is right there. Photo interest site number three. The roads are a little slick, so it's kind of a little dangerous for me to go to the side of the road and show you this. This is a little kind of marshy area at the bottom, kind of of the big climb starts to get up to our house. But right at the base of this, there's this beautiful wetland with, you know, wildlife galore. And once again, it doesn't look great today because of the, the snow coming down, but uh, it's it will be photographed. Check my Instagram, right there. Oh, gotta catch my breath. I had to climb this, this huge hill. So what, what do you do for cardio? Get over yourself. Anyways, here's uh, what the fourth place, I think. I have shot this rock. I think I got a pretty good photo of it. Flew a drone around it right here. And 
and I will shoot it again. It's beautiful. It's just like this giant boulder glacial erratics. Do you remember that from grade seven? But this one in particular has this big kind of beautiful graffiti on it. Just makes it really interesting, an interesting subject. I had to hop a fence to get here. I hope I don't get in trouble. I put some of the best photos are on the opposite sides of no trespassing signs. I feel like we should be able to do that, but maybe we should. Maybe you should obey signs. I've never been one to obey signs. So something I'm always thinking about in the back of my head um, is the story kind of behind the story. That all comes from a video from a great YouTuber who, whose name escapes me because most people's names escape me, to be honest. I'm not good with names, never really been good with names. I'll link it in the show notes, the write-up at the bottom of the video. It says lots of stuff. Anyways, the story behind the story. So. Kind of my story for this is just telling a story on the way to work, and if I can do that, then, you know, it's working on flexing that muscle of storytelling. Um, but it, behind all of that, there is a story behind the story, and that's what makes uh, any of your favorite movies or shows or even YouTube uh, vlogs compelling. You shouldn't really have to say the story behind the story out loud. Um, but I'm going to break that rule because I'm not good at it yet. <laughs> Maybe I do uh, succeed, but maybe I don't. But I think the story I'm trying to tell behind the scenes here is everyone has a commute to work. Everyone has a commute to work or a journey they need to do every day. And if you kind of open up your photographer's eye, then you can see beauty in, in everywhere. So, you know, get your, get your eyes up. So this represents the last stop for me today before work is uh, the Red Bridge. Very photogenic bridge in Kamloops. It's not, uh, it's not red. It's not red anymore. I think it's usually red, but it's not red. It's still called the Red Bridge. Um, maybe we paint it in the summer times. Anyways, it's uh, another one of my favorite, favorite spots. Oh, there's the red. Look at this guy's truck. He's got a whole bunch of cute dogs in there. Beautiful big things. Mastiffs? So I'm at work now and I'll tell you, one thing for sure, regardless of how this video turns out, I feel like I've already been on an adventure. Before I got to work, I'm already done my adventure time. So, I mean, life is great. I did it. Success. And with that, I say adieu. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next time in the videos, the next video. I am getting more comfortable talking to the camera. It's it's weird, it's kind of like free therapy. You just talk to the camera and then when I'm editing, I'm like, oh, that's how I feel about things. <laughs>